Good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Balancing Act. We are so glad you joined us this morning. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Villaverde. All right, look, you diet, you exercise, yet you still see problem areas. Mm. I mean, what's a girl to do? Are well, you talking to me? No. <laughs> I want you to know, though, that they can take fat where you don't need it and put it where you do without implants. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> All right, then, hair-raising fun. Celebrity stylist Jean Andrea is here to show us how to treat our locks no matter the length, style, or texture. And we're also going to get to the root of addiction today. It's a very diverse show, mm -hmm. and the balancing act starts right now. Cosmetic surgery has become more mainstream than ever. No one, not even supermodels, are always bikini ready. Because the fact is, almost everyone has problem areas that won't budge no matter what you do. Now here to tell us about some of the latest trends in cosmetic surgery and why it's more common than you may think is renowned plastic surgeon Dr. Randall Feingold along with patient advocate Anita Mucci. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Great to be here. Doctor, let me start with you. Why are there certain areas that we try so hard to improve through diet, exercise, and nothing happens? Well, the reality is we inherit our shape from our parents. Genetic. They're the ones that decided how many fat cells you were going to get <laughs> and in what pockets they were going into, whether it's under the chin or the belly or the thighs. If we gain weight, we're not manufacturing new fat cells, we're expanding our cells and that amplifies our contour or our silhouette. If we lose weight through diet and exercise, which we should, our fat cells will shrink, but we become a smaller version of the same shape. So there is a genetic limitation. Anita, where were some problem areas for you? What was bothering you? It's interesting, as I got older, the problem areas changed. When I was much younger, um, I wanted larger breasts, so I had breast implants. But as I got older, gravity, having children, um, I started to find uh, that my thighs were thicker than I wanted them to be, the belly area. Um, so those were really the problem areas, exercise, dieting, they just wouldn't quit. Now you, you have performed thousands of these procedures. You are at the forefront of your field. It seems like plastic surgery it really has become more mainstream, hasn't it? It has. I think women are increasingly proactive. When I go to the gym at six in the morning, the gym is filled primarily with women. Because we Resistance care. training, spinning, boot camp at six in the morning. Yes. Women of all ages are looking better. But because of genetic limitations and because techniques and breast augmentation and liposuction have improved, those procedures are actually more popular than ever. And I know liposuction, doctor, has been a very popular go-to procedure. Is that still the case? It is. Liposuction really? is very attractive because it allows us to cheat nature. We make a pinhole, <laughs> we can permanently remove those fat cells that we cannot diet away and change our contour. But after 20 years of doing liposuction, the real game changer that I've seen is the movement toward vaser ultrasonic liposuction. Okay, and what is that? Explain that to me. Well, a vaser is a small probe that we insert into body fat. When we turn the probe on, it emits a safe ultrasound energy that causes fat cells to separate from each other and become liquefied. Hmm. And then we can put a suction tube in simply to evacuate the already prepared fat. So there's less trauma to the patient. We can remove a larger volume of fat with more skin tightening. And it works in problem areas such as the lower back or the male chest after gynecomastia that conventional liposuction didn't work well in. And one of the byproducts of vaser technology is the fat that we harvest from it is still living viable tissue. We can use it in a technique called fat grafting where we can inject it into other areas of the body that may be deficient, such as highlighting cheek contour in the aging face or a natural tissue breast augmentation for women who do not want to have breast implants or who've had problems with their breast implants. And there's a very popular technique of I call it high definition gluteal sculpting. It's vaser liposuction of the rolls of the lower back to deepen the curves of the back with wow. simultaneous fat grafting to the buttock to enhance the buttock contour. From what I'm hearing, it sounds less invasive. It sounds much more gentle and very effective. Very. Is this something that you were excited about, Anita, when you heard 
the doctor tell you about this technology? I was very excited about it. I had originally gone in to have the breast implants removed because they were problematic for me. Mm -hmm. So when I learned that I could remove fat from other parts of my body and get contouring as well as get the lift and volume back in my breast, I was thrilled. And when you finally got it done and you saw the results, because, I mean, you're gorgeous. Oh, thank but you. But were you happy? Did it make a difference? Did you feel now that you could wear something you didn't wear before and go out there and tout it? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. I changed my wardrobe. I was much prouder of my body. And psychologically, I feel so much better about my body. And, Doctor, you must hear that from so many women that come in. And when you do this, Shazam, they're a different person. Well, you know, they were expecting something from body contour surgery. And when I tell them we can use that fat for an additional purpose, you should see their eyes light up. They're, they're very, very happy with this approach. Which brings in the words, what is it again? Redistributing your asset? That's right. I love it. So can we redistribute my bubble butt? <laughs> um, we can talk about it. You have yes. some ideas? <laughs> we have ideas, yes. <laughs> You'll give me a discount? <laughs> you got I it. I love it. Thank you so much, doctor. I really appreciate your time. You look fabulous, you. and you don't need to do anything else but just walk. All right, thank you so much. And if you want to learn more about this incredible body contouring and vaser technology, go to thebalancingact.com, and don't forget we're on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs>
it also increases beautiful shine. Let's go to the lovely model number three. And here we have Jasmine. Love, Gorgeous. vivacious curls. She came in, I did very little. I wanted to activate the hair, to rehydrate them, to bring the beauty, and that's where the magic of oil happens. And all you of know, these models using the Macadamia Professional. This is the heart and soul. I love this product, it's sublime. You activate it a little bit, and you can smell, it's mm. amazing. And of course, look at the shine, it's mm. gorgeous. And all you wanna do, even sometimes on wet hair, which is good. Right now I'm applied on dry hair, but when she came in, I did some pieces, I re it, moisturized it, mm -hmm. and just, I did all this. And this is her natural texture. They're beautiful. And it just reactivated the beauty. And keeps yeah. her hair healthy as well. Keeps her hair he healthy, hydrated, especially curls and elasticity replenish the moisture, everything bounces back. All right, I want you to come over here because I also want you to tell me a little bit about um, all the glam you had at Fashion Week. It was all the trends, tell me about it. Fashion Week was amazing, but it actually happened at the end of the very incredible first season of award shows. We did the Grammys, we did the Oscars, we did the Globes. It was You've spectacular. You've been very busy. Yeah. We were busy and you know, Macadamia, I love Macadamia. It's such an amazing product. With all my clients, I use it. I make them wash and do the mask. I pray they have so many events to go to. They have so much to do. And the hair really prepared to be fantastic, Junior. And Carrie, I was also reading here that uh, it's made for, quote, socially conscious, health conscious, and eco-conscious. Elaborate. Well, our products, all of them, are cruelty-free, sulfate-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, and color safe. Any final thoughts? If your hair shine, you shine. Oh, ladies, yes. you look beautiful. For our viewers, so where much. can they get more information on Macadamia Professional? At our website, macadamiahair.com, and also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. There's some really amazing things coming down the road. You want to be in touch. And this one <laughs> is mine. That's for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Besides, my birthday's next month. And if you'd like more information about staying beautiful at any age, from your head to your toes, visit us at thebalancingact.com or log on, get a little bit social with us. Care to share? Visit us at forward slash thebalancingactfans. Joining me this morning is Dr. Maureen Esposito, Executive Vice President of Clinical Services at Transformations Treatment Center in Delray Beach, Florida. Doctor, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. You know, everybody struggles with something in their life. We've had our ups and downs. But is it safe to say that people take refuge in different ways? Life is becoming very difficult mm -hmm. in this day and age. And many times people very innocently will drink or drug thinking that it's a one-time thing or a casual thing or a social thing. And before you know it, it becomes a problem. So this is what we're really taking a look at when people wind up in treatment. Life has become very difficult and life has become many times out of control with substances. And what does substance abuse look like? It'll look like a housewife who has a few children at home. It will look like a teenage boy, a teenage girl. It will look like uh, a husband who goes to work. It will look like someone who uh, has a lot of stress. It will look like someone who may be just partying. And so it comes in a variety of uh, shapes and sizes, and it shows absolutely no discrimination between the young and the old, the educated, the uneducated, the rich and the poor. As I've heard, it can happen to you, it can happen to me, and I always wonder what to look out for. Things to look for will be changes in habits. If you have a close family and the child suddenly doesn't want to come to the dinner table or starts to sleep excessively or stays out late all night, th those sorts of things. And doctor, how do we know we have lost control? Many times the client or the patient themselves has no idea they've lost control. It's the family members around them who might say, you look like you've lost control. Mm. You've either lost a lot of weight you know, your sleeping habits are changing, your dietary habits are changing, maybe you're not taking care of yourself. So those would be some of the signs that uh, substance abuse has gotten out of control. And I'd like our viewers to know that I spent some time with you and your staff at the Transformations Treatment Center. What an amazing facility. Talk to me about it. In your uh, taking a tour of our facility, I think you really got an idea of what wonderful staff members we have. Yes. Highly educated, very personable, very warm and nurturing. And partly that's what people need when they come into recovery is that they forget how to socialize. They forget that the helpers are all around them and that the love is all around them. And I was actually able to meet some very special people who are reclaiming their lives, mm -hmm. facing their fears, and really having courage to be at your facility and the courage to speak to me. So I'd like to share that with my That'd viewers. Is that okay? That'd be Let's great. take a listen. When you're active, you don't think about anybody else. All you can think about is yourself and, you know, and whatever you need to do to get that next drug. Drinking excessively, 
daily, smoking marijuana daily, and then experimenting with hallucinogens, acid, cocaine, occasionally experimenting with heroin. I had nobody in my life. I was living on the streets in the winter with no, with, you know, the clothes on my back, no money in my pocket. Um, it's pretty much just me. The more I drink, the more depressed I got, and the more damage that would do. Each of them has a different perspective, but yet truly relatable issues, right? I think the connecting factor is isolation. People become isolated in their addiction. They many times feel shame and guilt, and they isolate. They don't go out, they don't socialize. And so when they come into treatment, they are with people like themselves. And without feeling guilty or shameful, the nurturing, the healing takes place with people of their own kind, which means therapists who have gone through addiction, uh, all of the support staff, um, and other peers that may have the same exact story. When people come in and they don't have hope, they almost feel desperate. What I usually say to them is, we have enough hope for you, and we'll carry you until you develop that hope in yourself through the treatment. Thank you so much for being here. Thank I you know for we're going to see you again. Yes, absolutely. Thank you again to your staff to, uh, and everyone there for allowing us to go in there. It really was an amazing experience for me as well. And be sure to head to our website for a link to Transformations and all the resources they offer. The site allows you to chat or call the administration line and speak to someone that can help or just be a listening ear. And please stay tuned, as in the coming weeks, we're going to look at all parts of addiction, from recognizing the signs to family dynamics, from coping tools to reclaiming your life. So a lot to talk about. Stay tuned. So you know I'm very encouraged about removing some of my booty. Oh, come on. And putting it somewhere else, you don't need to change a thing about yourself, honey. I love you. You're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we have lots more on our website, thebouncingact.com. She's so sweet. She's great for my ego. We're also on Twitter and Facebook. Post something, tweet us, let's get social. And until next time, and I need to remember this, find your balance. So long, everybody. Too much fun this morning. Yes.